Welcome, Cancer and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box. For those of you that want to skip ahead, please know that time is fluid, so this can resonate past, present, or future. Okay, wait a second here. We have children, which says your love life is being affected by children. And then we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, this is really interesting. It's going to be really specific. So please take what resonates, leave what does not. If it's not your story, don't force it to fit. I always recommend, as well as you know, your sun signs, to also check your moon rising and Venus signs. Uh, like for instance, I'm a Virgo, but I have a lot of Leo in my chart. I have a Taurus moon, so a lot of times um, those readings can resonate for me more. So let's see what is happening here. What is going on for the Cancer Collective? We have the chariot, okay, that's cancer energy. This could be so this could even be a cross watcher reading for some of you. We have the star and the eight of pentacles. I just feel like somebody's kind of burying themselves in work. I feel like there is like this dream or this desire to move forward. Some of you could this could be regards to like starting a family or having children. Maybe some of you already have children. We have the Five of Swords, we have the Hermit, and the Fool. A lot of major arcana here. Under the deck, you have the Page of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, Three of Cups, Ten of Wands. Does somebody want children and the other person does not? Or is this... Hold on a second. This seems so specific. Give me just a minute here with this. Just sit with this. I feel like someone kind of expressed their desire for some kind of star, some kind of change, and then something kind of shifted and changed. It's like somebody got, well, I've been busy at work, or, you know, this has been happening X, Y, and Z, or the family needed me, you know, this has been happening, and something's kind of changed, something kind of shifted. You're wanting to move forward with this person, you're wanting to celebrate, you're wanting to begin. Some of you maybe even wanted to start a family, or to, to combine lives together, something like that, or combine families, but it feels like... Some kind of, something about money, like someone's being like preoccupied with like work or something like that. There's been all these little things that this person's been saying has been like getting in the way. There's been a lot of reflection here, a lot of like feeling like your partner's like pulling away from you. Like something has changed or shifted in their behavior. Like something's happened here. The chariot. So some of you definitely could be thinking about moving, or some type of travel, or even relocation, some kind of trip, some kind of something to look forward to. This talks about movement. Can you clarify here, please, why the chariot is here? Ooh, some of you could be thinking about two people very specifically, or that, or that your person's energy has just shifted and split and changed. Like on one hand, this person was very passionate and very exciting and adventurous and ready to take on anything, and the next minute, this person just seems to be cold. This person seems to be detached or overthinking, overanalyzing, having an excuse for everything, maybe even a bit manipulative or controlling, like it's their way. You could be thinking about a fire sign specifically or an air sign. Like we also have Cancer, Aquarius very strongly, Virgo, Aries energy strongly. For others of you, I think you're just kind of split in like how to move forward with something, like trying to logically plan something, logically like take control, move forward, start something new, possibly some type of creative project. Because children for me doesn't even necessarily mean that children are necessarily involved. This can talk about, you know, something that is very new, right? The beginning in something. Or even a childish behavior from someone else. I feel, I mean, to be honest, though, like for the predominant collective, for the most of you, I'm feeling like this is a situation where somebody, you talk to somebody about this. Like you had a plan together, okay? Like what you were going to do in the future, how you're going to move forward, like what your new beginning would be like. You know, maybe some of you starting a family or combining families or moving forward, something new that you both wanted to do or pursue, like where you wanted to live, what kind of home you wanted to have, what kind of family you wanted to create for yourselves, your careers. Like you had it all kind of mapped out and you were really excited for that, but it seems like your person's kind of, kind of gotten caught up in some kind of self or codependent type addictions or behaviors and now you're still wishing for this and hoping for this and wanting to work together on this relationship like 
you know, the star here. Can you clarify why this is here? You haven't let this idea go. Like, you're trying to be strong here. You could be thinking about a Leo. You don't want to let this idea go. You wish for this, dream for this, pray for this, you know, but it's like you're having to kind of show some kind of restraint or self-control because it feels like your person is kind of hitting the brakes or, you know, putting a pause on like your dreams, your plans that you had made. Like some of you maybe even talked about getting married and now it seems like this person's coming up with an excuse for why you cannot get married or, or even those of you who may already be married to this person, you may feel like your relationship has shifted and like it's like really testing you both. Like there's a lot, a lot of like obsessive thoughts and like restraint. It's like you don't want to create conflict or arguments by bringing something up or talking about something. But again, it could feel like maybe your person's a workaholic or maybe they're always giving their energy to other people. Like saying, well, my family needs me or this needs to happen or my job is taking me here. And you want to work and build on this relationship because of how much you love and care for this person. But it seems like they're very self-centered or very self-focused on whatever it is that they need. They're not really thinking about your needs right now. I think that you're giving, giving, giving to this situation and just feeling like you're not getting reciprocation from this person. Can we clarify this, please? Why is this eight? Okay. You feel like they're keeping secrets from you. They're not being completely honest with you. You want to know what's, what they're really... Yeah, there's great pride here. This person's not being fully honest with you about something like that, okay? They're keeping secrets. You're trying to figure out what it is. Some of you are suspicious about something. Like they're saying, look, I have to go to work or I have to do this, that, and the other. For some of you too, I don't know why I'm getting cross watcher energy just really heavily coming through. So for some of you, you might be this person, okay? Okay, you could be this person, you could be this person, you could be the cross watcher for someone else. It could be ooh. Some of you might feel that like this person is cheating or keeping some kind of major secret from you. They're hiding things from you. And it's like when you try to bring it up or talk about it, you're met with some kind of conflict. Well, if you don't trust me, then, you know, they're like creating blame or something like that. You still want this relationship to work, but you need to know that you can trust this person, that all the things that you talked about and planned for are still to come in your future. That you're still on the same page. This person's not hiding things or keeping things from you because the most important thing in a relationship is that you can talk to each other, that you can trust each other, that you can confide in each other, that you're on the same page. And even if you're not, that you're able to work through those difficulties and begin to make something work. Because it, it, it feels to me like this is a situation where you had planned it all out. You had talked about your dreams, your hopes, your goals, how you wanted to achieve it. And you're still following that plan. You're still going through with it. But it's like your person has shifted and changed. Like they're not fully committed to the situation or giving the way that they were in the past. And now you're questioning everything. There's a, there's a lack of trust here. There's a guardedness. Like you're feeling like from this person, like a defensiveness. It's making you worry. Like, why are you acting so different all of a sudden? Why? Ha what has changed? Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Five of Swords. Let us clarify. What's going on? What is happening to this person? What's going on? Okay, so I will never justify someone's negative actions or behaviors, but here's what I want to say. For some of you, okay, there might be someone else. That's not for all of you, so don't panic just yet. Again, I always recommend you guys get personal readings, if not with me, with someone that you trust. Somebody who will ultimately tell you the truth. Good, bad, ugly, beautiful, you need to know, right? Um, situation here. I think this person is definitely keeping secrets. They're not opening up on everything. I think your person, number one, has concerns about money, concerns about travel, and I think this person feels distant from the relationship right now. For some of you, like I said, they may actually already be talking to somebody else. And again, I'm getting a lot of cross-watcher energy. So for some of you, you might be the other person, like the other man or woman. You might be um, the person who's seeing someone else, okay? Or, you know, you could be a partner who's watching because you feel that you suspect your person is already connected with someone else. I think that your person is feeling a lot of stress, a lot of pressure, because now it's like the plans that you made yesterday sounded wonderful and great, but now it's like all the added pressure is truly there. And that puts no blame on you or, you know, I'm not doing any of that. But like I said, we're here for a reason. We want clarification. We want to understand the situation in its entirety. For some of you, I think this person 
is just getting really overwhelmed with the situation and they're not having fun because now it's like yes it was one thing to, to date to dream to have fun excitement yes this sounds good but then when you're actually in it it's like wait a minute this is really hard this is really heavy this is exhausting I'm you know do I, do I really want this maybe second guessing or questioning a lot of things it feels like this person may have even like lost someone it close to them or something like that Pisces cancer energy like walking away from situations and just feeling a lot of added pressure or stress and it's like your person uh, is trying to seek some type of thrill or excitement in other ways maybe even gambling or mm, some of you could be seeing other people we have Virgo energy here with the Hermit. So it does feel like your person has pulled away from you emotionally and is not fully expressing their desires. Yeah, there could be another woman here. The the Queen of Wands can represent another woman. Now for some of you, you might actually be the other woman. Yeah, there's a married man here and another woman. For some of you, that may not fully be the case. For others of you, it could be that your person is just emotionally withdrawn because they're stressed with work. Okay, maybe you're married to this. Some of you could be married to this person. If you're married to this person, it could be that maybe you're wanting to start a family. You know, you're wanting to kind of build in the relationship, but you feel like your person's dragging your feet in regards to that. I feel like there's two very specific groups. Number one, if you're married to this person, you may want to start a family or extend your family. And you feel like your person has talked all about this with you, but now they're suddenly dragging their feet. You don't understand why. It could be added stress or second guess, and they don't want to burden you with that. Maybe they just want excitement and fun. They don't, you know, want to add to any stress or obligations they have at this time, but they just not, are not coming around to saying that. And it's obviously adding tension to your relationship. For others of you, this could be a married man that you're seeing, okay? Um, and or you know you could be the wife or question like that I, I feel like for some of you specifically this actually could be a situation and i mean i hate to do you know third party but if it's if it's here i'm going to read on it because somebody obviously needs to know um it feels like this person is seeing someone else okay um with the full here we do have aries energy let's clarify it Like I said, for some of you, this is like a married couple who's talking about having kids. For others of you, this is like a third party. There's someone, they're dating someone else, and you're not physically married to this person. Um, yeah, there's, there is like this dreaminess, and like when you connect to this person, but also something about choices, decisions here. Like, I think your person, to be honest, doesn't know how to tell you that they're not ready to have children or that they've kind of rethought it. Like, maybe in their youth, they wanted to have kids. Like I said, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do group A, group B. I know this is confusing. Please bear with me. There's a large collective. Some of you, there could be ten of you, a hundred of you, a thousand of you, or even more who are watching this reading. So there's different messages for different groups. Okay, I'm gonna do both. If you're married to this person, this person may have told you in the past, yes, I want to have kids, yes, I'm excited for it, but now they're kind of second guessing it because they like their freedom. Somebody likes their freedom. They like having fun. They're just not, they're not sure. They're overthinking. It, they're second guessing it because everything will obviously change. And now you're kind of wondering if you're not on the same page. This person wants to wait, but they don't know how to tell you that. So that's why you feel like your person's currently pulling away from you because it's added stress or pressure for them. They're not sure now. They don't want to disappoint you by saying no. That's why they're kind of dragging out and not fully talking about it because they might change their mind in the future, but they don't know. It's like, whereas in the past they talked about it and it sounded great. Like, yeah, one day I want to have six kids and, you know, live on a, on a farm somewhere. And we can do that. We can churn our own butter and... I don't know, milk our own cows. You know, it, it was it was a beautiful picture, but then life kind of happened. You kind of grown up and kind of things kind of happened. And now they're kind of thinking, I like things the way that it is. I know that everything will change. There'll be added stress and responsibility, you know, when things are already really difficult. And maybe you're both not on the same page, right? But they're afraid to just tell you, no, I don't want that because they don't know if they don't want that forever. But they also know that if they tell you that I'm not ready, that you may take that as a sign of saying, well, I'll never be ready. And they don't want to disappoint you. For others of you, where well, you're talking to somebody who is married to someone else, okay? I think the situation is saying that this person is, they're, they're seeing someone, whether you're the, the other woman, the other man, whoever, um, or that you're the spouse. There's, there's someone else. And this person... <sighs> I feel like it's exciting, it's new, but I think this person may actually be not planning to leave your situation. Okay, if you're married to this person, they're not planning to leave. Um, like if you're dating like a married man or something like that, they're not planning to leave their spouse. But, because they're kind of staying in it. They're kind of enjoying the connection as it is. Um, they kind of give it time. There's like this connection, the secret meeting or something like that. Because one thing that always stands out to me with this particular card there's two people connecting here, but they're like away from town. Town's far off in the distance. They're kind of alone in a quiet, secluded place. 
like they will keep on with it as you allow them to okay let us see here what's going on <clears throat> what do you need to know about the situation I want to tell you how I feel. So they are saying they want to reveal their feelings to you, especially in regards to like children, things like that. They want you to newly know, but they're afraid that you're going to take it the wrong way, but they're just not sure. They're uncertain right now. For others of you, if there's a third party situation involved here, they obviously want to reveal their feelings to you. They're saying, I love you unconditionally. It's not that they don't love you, but the situation is kind of complicated. We will be together again. I also feel like your person is saying here that things will eventually get better, that they're not giving up on the situation. I feel you leaving me behind. So some of you could be concerned that this person's pulling away from you emotionally. I don't feel like that's necessarily the case, but I feel like there is something kind of between the situation here. I feel you even though we are apart. Even when you're not together, this person does feel you. This is does feel like a very spiritual connection. It even could be soulmate connection for some of you. Um, this person feels you. They did. They've not forgotten you. They do have love for you, but I do feel like there is kind of a complex situation here. So like I said, I always recommend you guys get personal readings, if not with me, with someone like I said, who you do trust, because I feel like there's two very strong different collectives here. So um, that is what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.